Okay, starting test number two, 70 degree ambient temperature. All right, we are set up for um, Olivia 16500 or on 40 meters and using a signal link and KX3 <coughs> it's cold hasn't been used no transmitting power is 12 watts let's see what happens I've got it set up to send a very long test message test 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 and that's more than you would ever do in one QSO at least any of my QSOs so let's see what happens I'm gonna start at 406 just for reference here's the old heat sink There's no air in here, no blowing wind. Looks like it sends pretty slow. High temp at 406, let's call it 55. But it hasn't shut down. High temp again. Is still transmitting. I'm going to go ahead and stop this just because it doesn't look like it's going to shut down and I don't really want to run it. Oh, there it went. 408.25 shut down. Alright, going to run the test. We're on 40 meters. Olivia 16500. And. One to one SWR. PA is at twenty-three. Twelve watts.
So it's definitely climbing a lot slower when your SWR matches. So that's one thing to keep in mind. You're definitely going to do better if you're going into a matched antenna system. There we go. Now let's cut back power. Yep, now it's doing 5 watts. I think we should see a high power or a high temp alarm here pretty soon. It's getting kind of warm on the heat sink. This is after sending quite a bit of data. But it's holding steady. Holding in a high down steady state. Well, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here because it doesn't look like it's going to uh, shut off. But I will keep running this test and if it does overheat and shuts off, 
I'll put a note at the end of the video.